One of the major tools traders use, and also in the uh, Matrix book, um, is Fibonacci. Uh, if you look on the top here on the uh, toolbar, I've created a button um, which I've, if you right click again on this toolbar and click Customize Toolbar, um, you can select it from the list. And if you move your mouse onto it, uh, it tells you it's add Fibonacci lines. The alternative way of getting this is to go onto your chart, right click, go down to lines and text and then you'll see here is the Fibonacci again. But I created this button because I use it uh, quite a lot so I click on the button and I've got a choice of Fibonacci retracements, projections, arc and fan. Now if I take a Fibonacci retracement and uh, say for example I want to look at how much this is retracing back up, I move to the top, click hold my mouse button down and move to the bottom and release the mouse. As you can see it's already gone all the way back up again to uh, up to the 23% of that. Now if you want to reverse this so instead you want to see this being uh, like this would be a 786 line if I go onto this Fibonacci click once then right click delete line and go back again select the Fibonacci uh, retracement I select the high and then I move my mouse down to the bottom here and then to the left it will then switch the scale and let go and now you can see it's 78.6 you just passed now you can change all the settings by clicking here, then right clicking, go down to colour styles and settings. Move that over here for a minute. Now as you can see there's a whole host of different buttons you can use so I can get rid of uh, ratios, hit preview, as you can see it just shows the actual price levels. I can also uh, get rid of the line values and just leave ratios on, hit preview again, there you go. Put them all back on again. I can also change the settings of the actual position. So if I hit settings here, I can change the individual Fibonacci ratios. As you see, there's a number of defaults here. And again, you can also change the colors of each line. So if I wanted a, a solid line in a different color, I can change that. Once you've set this up to do what you want, you then should hit set as default. So for example, here, like extend forward, I hit preview, it will just bring the lines to here. If I want to see them further on, Again, preview there. So set it as default, and now from now onwards, every time you draw a Fibonacci retracement, it will do it exactly the same as you've already previously set. Again, once these are on here, if you leave them on there, it will save um, when you exit share scope and bring it back up again. Now, either click on it, sorry, I left click on it, and then right click and hit delete line, or I just press delete on my keyboard. Right, now we've got the Fibonacci button again. This time we're going to use uh, the projections. So if I click Fibonacci projection, what I want to do, for example, is say, look at this, this particular uh, wave down, but I want to measure that wave based against it. So what I do is I move my mouse to the top here, I click, I bring my mouse down to the bottom, I don't need to hold my mouse anymore, I click on the bottom here, I then move my mouse to the top here, and it's now measured that first wave, that one down, and then I've clicked here, and it's now given me the Fibonacci ratios based against here. And as you can see, it came down to 1.618 of a distance of that. Again I can right click, sorry left click on here to highlight it, right click and hit delete line or again I can change colours and so forth or change the ratios. Again you want to hit set as default so it stays the same each time. Click on, right click, delete. 